Exciting day for young Adrian here. I'm away to Hangdog to conduct the first of the interviews for 360. Pretty monumental day because in my working life, I have uh, not employed more than six or seven people, I suppose, at a time that is. So this would be uh, a new breakthrough because I think we're going to be interviewing somewhere around 13 to 14 people, looking to employ somewhere around 25 people. So pretty big step up. I've finished a day of painting in the warehouse, so I look like absolute shit and I don't smell too good either. <laughs> so hopefully they don't mind that I'm gonna be coming at them raw and real and just as I am. I've often kind of liked bosses that got their hands dirty and hopefully they feel the same about me. cool things about having a team behind you to help you with the interviewing process is you get to learn other people's opinions and perceptions of your potential employees which is fantastic this whole due diligence process that we're going through at the moment is super important because we want the right look and the right feel and the right attitude for people who are going to be working at 360 so it was a very very entertaining and fun experience for me so i'm super excited um, right now I'm running late for an appointment. I've got four coaching appointments today in between running all of this stuff. So my time is getting super, super soaked up, but it's only gonna get busier from here. We're frantically getting ready for the timber to arrive in a few days time. There is a bunch of stuff that needs to be done, but my most pressing problem at the moment is the difference between the surface in this area over here versus the surface in this area. If you've been following the story, you would know that I only discovered that there was a difference in height once I tore the uh, wall down. But as you can see, what I've got going on here is I've got this surface which I'm trying to kind of smoothen out with this machine that I've hired over here. So hopefully, with any luck, I can make this uh, nice and smooth and level and then add some little transition-y things here to make it an awesome park. I made the decision this week to paint all the beams throughout the ceiling. However, what I've essentially done is put myself under a mountain of pressure because I finished all this side along with the help of mum and the beams look absolutely amazing. However, I have not done the other side yet. We're sitting here, it's 11 p.m. at night and the timber is going to rock up in the next day or two. So I've basically just mounted a whole heap of unnecessary pressure uh, on myself. Well, maybe it'll be worth it, but we'll soon find out. That's itself. When you are painting with black paint, don't wipe your mo. <laughs> Bad news is, that the timber that we've been really hanging on coming in prior to the builders arriving hasn't arrived. The good news is, is that it's freed up some time for us to finish off all of the beams and all of the struts along the ceiling and get them all tied in nicely. Today I've been helping out with finishing off the rest of the painting as well as some electrical work and again looking at the cafe check-in and the storeroom behind us to make sure that that's all getting prepped and ready to go then I can move upstairs into the party rooms. It's been an interesting week where we've really pushed ourselves to the absolute limit to make sure this is happening but it's gonna get even more hectic and more exciting now because as we are filming and speaking right at this moment, the guys from America will be landing here on Australian soil, ready to start work and start building these ramps. So for me personally, uh, I am just so pumped and so wrapped because these guys are gonna have to finish this before Christmas so they can fly home. I don't know how they're going to do it, but we're going to do everything in our power to make sure that this absolutely gets nailed down 100% perfectly so we can open right after Christmas. I don't know if this is going to be a great success or a great failure, but what I do know is, is that I, I do not want to go to my deathbed knowing that I could have tried and I didn't.